Hi there, this is Jess from Beyond Verbal. With this tutorial, we want to update you on some of the changes we have made on our demo application called Moody's. Now, for those of you who don't know Moody's, it's a free application which can be downloaded from either iOS or Android. The application is powered by Beyond Verbal Software, and what it does is analyze emotions of a speaker in real time. If you're new to Moody's, I highly recommend you watch the setup tutorial by clicking on the link provided below. Now let's get to business and allow me to demonstrate our new features for you. As with the previous version of the application, you can start the analysis by pressing the record button. Remember that the engine needs to collect approximately 20 seconds of speech before it renders an analysis. Once you have finished collecting the speech you want analyzed, all you do is press the record button which stops the analysis. Once you have stopped the recording, you can see the new Emotions Trend feature we have added. The benefit with the Emotions Trend feature is to easily show the user how their emotions changed over the course of the conversation. As you know, our emotions are constantly changing. Sometimes we're very happy, and a few seconds later we could be very frustrated. What this feature shows is our positive mood. Here you can see mine at the top, so this is basically your highest mood level. And then below that you could see your low mood level, so basically your most negative mood. Within the Emotions Trend feature, we have also added one of our other emotional features called Temper. Temper can be categorized into three different groups. The low temper, or the low group, which we call somber, indicates feelings such as sadness, pain, suffering. More of a depressive temperament, if you will. The medium group, which we call embraceive, consists of either positive feelings such as happiness or practical feelings such as self-control. The high group, which we call confrontational, indicates feelings of aggression, such as anger or hostility. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, you can still play back recording sessions and you can still share your analysis with a friend or a loved one. By swiping to the right, you can view the various individual analysis, which makes up the emotional trend screen. Another feature we have added is directly onto the vault. In short, the vault is an archive of all your previous analysis. If you need more explanation on this, please see our setup tutorial, which can be found at the link below. If you look at the vault, you now have an additional graph which shows your temper distribution. Blue indicates somberness, green indicates embraceiveness, and red indicates confrontation. As you can see on the first item in my vault, the emotional trend was equally somber and embraceive whereas the second item in the vault was mostly embraceive. You can also see a blue square with a number inside. This number represents the amount of analysis done on this specific recording. If you remember, our engine returns an analysis every 20 seconds. So if you were to speak longer than 20 seconds, you would have multiple analysis on one recording session. So that's it from me, guys. We hope you have fun with this additional feature, and as always, we look forward to receiving your feedback by sending us a mail to info at beyondverbal.com. If you have any suggestions on how we can improve our application or add useful features, please let us know. Till next time!